Hey, hey everyone. Today I wanted to expand on a previous video I did explaining the filter function in Excel. In particular today, I wanted to show you how to create a formula to filter a table for everything that does not contain something that you've specified. So in this example, you can see on the left, I've got the original table of information. And on the right, I've filtered it to everything that does not contain FLO or flow in the city or state column. You can see the second row here, or the second entry, has Tampa, Florida. But on the right hand side, that's not there. It doesn't appear because it's filtered out everything that does not contain the letters flow. So if I change this and change it from flow to say cal and press enter, you can see that the output has changed. And it has not got anything that has the words or the letters cal or cal in it. So it's filtered that table. And you can see that Florida is now back in the table because we're only filtering out all the states or city states where there's the letters C-A-L. So what we're going to do here today is show you how to build this formula and how it works. But if you are interested in going back to the basics and some other scenarios, my other video will be in the description below and you can see in the tabs here, the different scenarios that we went through. So we went through a basic filter. We went through an option where there was two scenarios or two conditions that needed to be met for the filter to work. A filter or function where one or the other filter had to be met or the condition had to be met. And last but not least was the filter if it does contain. So in this instance, we wanted everything that did contain Ohio to come in here and you can change it to say flow and it brings back everything with Florida or flow in the name. So in particular today, we just wanna go through very specifically if it does not contain the particular word. Okay, so let's get started with the formula and I'm gonna build it on the right of the table just so we can visualize it. Equals search. We're gonna search for cell I1. We're gonna lock that cell and we're gonna search for it in D2. So right next to it, close the brackets. And you can see it's come back with an error because it hasn't found the letters cal in that D2 cell. We'll drag that down and you'll see that where it has found the word cal, it's brought back a number. So it's either brought back an error or a number. What the number represents is that cal is the 17th character along in that cell. So let's expand on this formula. So we'll go back up to the top and we're going to nest it in what's called an is number formula. So is number, do the last formula, that search formula and close the brackets. So basically what this is saying is, is that result of the search a number or is it not? And you can see it says false for all those ones where the error came up. And instead of the number, it's come back with the true. So you can actually see now that that formula is basically saying, can you find cal in that cell, true or false? And you can see that the trues and the falses have come up. Okay, now the final step is to combine that formula with the filter function to bring back that table we wanna see. So let's go and delete what we have there already. And we'll build that again. And just to let you know, if you do want access to this spreadsheet, including all the examples from the previous video, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so equals filter. And there's two parts of the filter function. What are you filtering? And we're gonna select cell A2 all the way down to E254, comma. So filtering the whole table. And what is the condition that needs to be met? Now we basically need that formula where it equals false because we want to bring back everything that does not contain cal. So let's start typing that in. Is number, search. So just like we did before, the cell of I2 or I1 And we'll fix that one, comma, from D2. But we don't just want to search in cell D2, we want to search the whole of the row or whole of the column D. So D2 to D254, because that's where the table finishes. Close the brackets. Close the brackets again, and where it equals false. 
and close the brackets. So we're filtering that table where that condition equals false. Press enter, and now you can see it's brought back everything that does not contain the letters cal. And it's really, really simple to change it if you want to change it to does contain. And all it is, is you go back in that formula and change that false from false to true. And now it's bringing back everything that does contain the words cal. So hopefully that was handy. Hopefully it was pretty straightforward. Please subscribe. See you next time.